Okay, so this is a little bit of playing around with the hierarchy view. I'm using a model built on two JPA entities, department and employees, uh, exposed to a session facade over here, which I then exposed as an ADF data control. And then I'm going to create a new JSF page. Okay, I'm going to use a quick start layout for my page, just to stretch everything around. And then from the data control palette, I'm going to take the department find all result set, drag and drop it into the page, and choose the hierarchy viewer. I can choose various layouts for my um, hierarchy. I can also choose a quick start layout. I'm going to choose the card base quick start layout. It's a bit more advanced, gives you a bit more of a um, set of options in there. So the first thing to choose is what do you want to show in each one of the levels. So the department, I'm just going to show everything. Next level down is the employee list. Here I'm actually not interested in showing this field and I can rearrange some of the fields by moving them around like that. You can also specify a field that is going to be used to show the image. Um, I'm actually going to use the employee ID for an image. And then in the zoom level, I'm going to add another zoom level again using the employee ID. And what I want to show in this zoom level is I actually don't want to show um, a lot of the fields, I just want to show the name of the employee. So I'm going to remove those two columns as well. Right. And you can, of course, add more levels to your hierarchy. I'm just going to use those two levels. All right, so we'll click OK. And this is the default layout. Save everything and just run the page. And this is what you get by default. So this is actually the hierarchy. And if you zoom in, you'll see that you have all the departments and the employees in each one of them. But we simply have too much information to actually see a meaningful item right here. Um, if you, by the way, hover over one of the items, you'll actually see the name of the employee and everything else. And you can move things around. And you can also zoom in and zoom out to get a little bit more information using this control. Right? So for example, this is this department. So let's see how we can play with the layout of this page. So the first thing I want to do is instead of showing all the departments, I just want to show some of them. So what I can say here is how many nodes I want to show per level. So I'm going to say I only want to show three nodes per level. And at the first stage of the tree, I don't want to automatically f uh, show any of the uh, descendant levels. So let's do those two changes and click Save. The other thing is that the image of um, the employee, it's actually not just the employee ID. It's um, inside the um, image directory. So, and it's the employee ID with a JPEG extension. Right? The other thing to note is that um, the default layout also assigns a width and a height for the picture that you might want to remove, like that. Um, another thing, you also have an image here. Um, if you don't want to show an image, you can just remove this item as well. Let's click Save, go back to our browser, and reload our page. Yeah, that's much better. Now we can see three departments at a time, and we can scroll through the department by clicking on the scroll buttons over here. Go back and forward. And then we can also expand a department to see the employees working in this department. Okay. Some of the employees don't have pictures. So let's look at this set of employees. Here we actually have images of the employees. And um, again, you can expand this little control over here to zoom in and out. Okay. And let's do a little bit more zooming, like that. And you can also zoom in and out using a, your mouse scroll button. Okay. One thing to note is that um, after a while, when you zoom out, there's not a lot of place to show um, information about each one of the employees. This is why I specify that after 75% zoom out, you'll only see those two sets of data without seeing information in here. Again, this is something you can control. Let's go back to the editor and do some edits on the page. So first thing is that the boxes were showing a little bit too big. 
uh, for my taste. So of course you can go to each one of the nodes and in the um, height area just specify what height you actually want it to be. So let's do like uh, 200 pixels um, both in height and in width. And again this is customized, you can customize it per each one of the areas in here so um, actually it might be nicer to do it um, to a level um, of 150 here And in the second node, make it a little bigger because we have a little bit more information. So here we'll actually do the 200 points or pixels for each one. Like that. Okay. If you then go back to your browser window and again reload the page. get boxes that are a little bit more manageable in size. Like that. Again, remember this component. You can also control whether this component is expanded or not by default. Um, let's click on the hierarchy viewer and on the control panel you can specify that it's expanded by default. You can also change the type of um, hierarchy viewer you're using, using this drop-down. Now one thing to note about our UI here, if we move this up, is that you can actually scroll through two sets of data in here. Okay, I might have made this box a little bit too small, so we might want to make it a little higher in size. So we'll just pick up this node. do a 280 bucks. Okay, that's a little better. So what you have here is the concept of cards. So each node can have multiple cards in it. And on each card you can show whatever type of information you want to show. 